Hello DC fans, continue with the honoring of Batman v Superman, man movie coming soon. So anyway, wait, today I am doing a, another figure review. This is the Man of Steel Movie Masters Superman made by Mattel. <laughs> Look at the figure. Let's look at the packaging for a moment, so you can see here. There's a title says "Man of Steel" and it says "Adult Collector." I'm not sure which for ages for. Believe this is for adult collectors. Earth and his and his, his name Superman Movie Masters and DC Comics mix here. On the background, you can see the S for Superman. On the back here, we got. We got all the figures in line. We have Superman, Jarrell, and General Sod. And there's a bio about the fate, about the character. You want to read it? Go ahead, pause it. So that's about it. The back, the packaging. Now let's look at the figure itself. Let's look at a few details in the costume. You can see here. You guys see the gold, old place right here. You got the S on him. It says Superman. Right here, you got his, I believe, his six pack and other things too. Because Henry Cavill has been working now for playing Superman. You can see he has these gray, gray things on him here. A gray, and his wrist too, both of them. Them. See here, the boots on him looks nice. Nice. And the cape is flexible, and underneath the cape, you got some more details on it here. And on the bottom here, he has two peg holes for the stand. So let's look at the face detail. The face detail, I believe, it looks exactly like like Henry Cavill himself. Well, you can see him. He looks really cool. Yeah, you can see the black hair on him. Him. Looks nice, looks cool, looks indeed. Yeah, it looks really great looking. It, the figure itself, it's a great looking figure. For articulation, his head can fully rotate, goes up and down. Um, arms go rota rotate, go forward and back, in and out. Upper arm movement, then at the elbow, just one joint. Two, I mean, one point, wrist can rotate, rotate, waist can actually rotate, legs go forward and back, in and out, upper leg movement, been at one point of the knee, and his foot can pivot forward and back, and no angle pivot. Man, I really, really like him to do the, give him the angle pivot so he can pose the, this, this pose right here. Overall, articulation looks looks great. Yeah, looks cool. Looks great. For accessory, just one. He came with the st stand. It says Superman and on it. And only my problem is instead of the knee articulation, look at this. His his leg his knee is slowly Man, I really fixed need to fix that so I could put super glue in and move it for like like this. And it was just cool. You grab a stand. Oh, oh, look at that. He's about to fall over. Yeah, you get great making poses on him. Yeah, uh, well, the figure itself, it 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 looks really really good. Okay, for mansions, this. He is about without the stand. He's about like almost six inches tall, right past your six inches. But with the stand, he's about like past to six inches tall, all but centimeters. First, he is about past 
uh, 50 and a half centimeters and also uh, like about I don't know something 16 something centimeters I'm not sure I cannot tell the the measures on the ruler well I believe he's gonna be height in this figure I believe he will have the same size as the movie masters figures overall I really highly recommend the figure the face detail the articulations and the details are really good uh, yeah if I could I can use him for my stop-motion animation of Batman v Superman so anyway I believe I have the DC collectibles Batman from Arkham Knight the battle damage version from GameStop I, I'm I'm pretty sure he is not gonna be the same size as as Batman, I believe Superman is not going to be the same size because this is a movie math master figure, not a DC collectibles figure. The DC figures are like about 7 inches tall, but um, movie masters are about 6 inches tall. Alright, yeah, and here's like a problem is, is if you like buy a a DC multi for Batman v Superman man Superman with a grapple gun gun it looks exactly the same figure but except it's different it's painted it's exactly different paint but it's still the exactly the same figure well or because I don't and also I don't want to get the that figure to either because it costs money and the, and has a build of build a grapple gun it costs like 19 bucks you have to like like you have to pay all four for nineteen dollars for four toys. Please, yeah. I believe I believe this might be my my favorite figure of all time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy my reviews. Stay tuned for more videos every Thursdays and Saturdays. Agliar has left the video. Good day and goodbye. <laughs>